If you're an entrepreneur building with no code or automating workflows with AI, you have to watch this video. I've been working with hundreds of entrepreneurs and we see the same common pattern with all of them. They struggle with a problem solving framework called decomposition, how to take a big, scary problem and break it down into small tasks. Many entrepreneurs have these great ideas. They're ambitious. They're full of ideas. They have this vision for a problem that they want to solve, but when it comes to actually solving that problem, they lack the structure in their mind that they need to effectively solve that problem. And I wanted to make this lesson, this is actually a lesson inside of Dreams into Apps as well, but I wanted to make sure the whole world got around to this because if you're an entrepreneur and you want to survive in the AI gold rush, the no code automation gold rush, like whatever gold rush you wanna talk about, if you wanna survive as, you know, a workflow automator, somebody who can build like 22nd century businesses that are, you know, built off the back of automations and AI workflows, like you need to understand decomposition before you understand API development, before you understand how to build a no code or use a no code tool. Don't look at all these tools. All the tools are just vehicles to get to the end goal. But if you don't have this mindset, you won't be successful at all, no matter what you're trying to build. Decomposition is a key concept in computational thinking and logical problem solving. Big words, I know, but essentially it's about breaking down a large overwhelming task into smaller manageable parts. And in the world of software development, every great software developer is breaking down problems to stay organized, stay clear headed and work through complex issues, but also to stay happy. A lot of you give up on your dreams. Why? Because you don't break them down into smaller dreams that you can accomplish on a daily basis. They just stay a dream that is so big that it's going to take you weeks, months, or even years to accomplish. Your mind needs to be conditioned as a builder to celebrate small wins and to keep dopamine flowing. I keep this notebook next to me at all times and I'm taking any big problem I have throughout my day and breaking it down into small chunks. Then what I do is if I crush one of those small chunks that day, I go downstairs, I get off the computer, I go work out, I go play basketball. I tell my brain, hey, you did a good job so you were rewarded. What happened early in my career is I would be solving these huge problems. I would just think that, oh, the only way for me to be happy is if that big problem was solved. But hey, the way that we're landing rockets, the way that we're catching the same rockets is by every single day breaking down those small problems and then stacking them up into a huge mountain of that ultimate solution that you're trying to build. So decomposition is huge for your mental health, for your sanity, but also it's like the way you're supposed to be thinking about building products and solving problems, okay? Think of decomposition like unwrapping a big gift. Step by step, you're making progress until the whole package is unwrapped and understood, okay? And like I said, I keep a pen and paper in front of me at all times. And if you're a builder, an AI automator, a no-code builder, when a problem gets difficult, you need to use an exercise below. So I have this exercise that I did, like, you know, choose a simple task that you want to complete and write down the main problem at the top of the page. And in this case, if you're building like an app for um, anything that has, you know, an authentication feature, you could have build a login page for my app and then start jotting down smaller tasks that need to happen in order for you to complete that main goal of building a login page. So for example, decide what fields need to be on the page, like username, password, login button, choose a design for the form, like colors and layout, set up the database, implement the auth logic, create a submit button and test the page for errors. Okay, that's a very simple um, exercise. But what I really wanna go over here is the classic peanut butter and jelly exercise that every engineering 101 student goes through. If you've ever taken an engineering class, you likely know what I'm talking about, but this exercise is um, a classic example where you learn how to decompose and solve problems in practice. So if I were to ask you in a class, how do you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well, many of y'all would just be like, oh, take some peanut butter, take some jelly, put it on the bread, slap them together and you're good to go, right? But that's not how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a logical thinking uh, type of way. Something you need to realize is that computers are stupid. Like computers are extremely dumb. They seem complex. They seem like they can do a lot, but computers don't know anything. You need to, to approach a computer as if it knows nothing and tell it exactly what to do because computers only know what you tell it. So before you even look at my example here, how I would answer the problem, or excuse me, how I would approach the solution to creating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is as follows. First, walk up to the fridge. 
If your fridge is two doors, open the left side and look to the left to see if the peanut butter is there. Is the peanut butter there? If yes, then grab the peanut butter. If no, then close the left side, open the right side, look to the right. Is it there? If yes, grab the peanut butter. If no, check in the main fridge. If it's not there, abort mission. I got the peanut butter. I turn around. I drop it on the table. I turn around. I do the same thing for the jelly. I turn around. I drop it there. Then I grab my ingredients, which are like my variables in the world of app development. I go find um, the knife. I find a butter knife. I find the cutting board. I find a plate and I bring it to my table. Then I go through the rest of the process. I hope you see where my mind is at when I talk about logical thinking. Notice how I added like conditionals in there and if else statements. That's like the level of uh, like thought, thought that you need to have as a builder while you are putting together these complex systems. Like you need to be thinking about if else, you know, and like, do I have my ingredients, AKA my variables, right? Those are a lot of the um, mindset shifts that you need to make. So here's how I did it um, on this example. Number one, open the peanut butter jar. Is there enough peanut butter? Yes or no? If yes, proceed. If not, abort mission. Get a knife. Scoop some peanut butter with the knife. Spread the peanut butter evenly on one side of the bread. Close the jar. Open the jelly jar. Get the knife again. Scoop some jelly with the knife. Spread the jelly evenly on the other slice of the bread. Put the two slices of bread together. Okay. So I know this was a simple, um, basic example, but if you can successfully decompose big problems and bring it down into small digestible chunks, you will watch as consistency and time compound and play in your favor. So if you're watching this video, you're an AI automator, a builder. Um, I hope that you can start thinking about think, start thinking about that big problem that you want to solve and breaking it down into small chunks. This is all under the logical thinking course inside of uh, dreams into apps. This concept on decomposition was just one of the many lessons that I'm doing that I needed to get out to the world. So no matter if this video goes viral or if it gets a few views, I don't care. I just think that this is the most important mindset shift that all the entrepreneurs out there building with no code and AI need to embody that's gonna set them apart from the rest. We're working with thousands of entrepreneurs inside of Ambitious Labs and all of them just need this light switch to flip in their head and they are going to be unstoppable, invincible, absolutely just like legendary builders. Um, and we're working on it, which is why I'm creating this masterclass on logical thinking and computational uh, problem solving. So any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Thanks for watching this video.